Hey, Tony here. So for today's video, I'm going to show you all of the titles that I picked up during the month of June. We had a lot of good 4K releases, um, some good imports. We had some sales going on. Um, so I just got a lot of different varieties of films. So I'm just going to kind of randomly show you what I picked up. Um, these are in no particular order. First up, I got The Northman. Very happy to have added this one um, to the physical media collection. Same way with Ambulance. I did not get to see that one in the theater, uh, but very happy that I have this one on 4K now. A great new release is The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. I got this one, and I also got the Walmart exclusive slipcover for the 4K. And there's another one in the stack here somewhere. Um, I got the bad guys. I got the Target Edition. Um, a new A24 film after Yang. Haven't had a chance to watch this one yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, Target did a, a release of some Hunger Games slipcovers. So I got all four of those added to the collection. Um, we have Father Stu, which I haven't had a chance to see. I've heard a lot of great things about it, so very happy to have this one. Um, I've got Morbius, the Target exclusive with this fan art, and also I got the Lenticular Slipcover Edition. Um, some, some of the still books that we got during this month, um, we did get Grease 2 still book, which happy to have added this one. I really do love the artwork on it. Wasn't a big fan of the movie. Um, we got Lawrence of Arabia. And we got The Bridge on the River Kwai, which I still need to check this one out. And we got the Morbius still book. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, I got the Born, the complete Born collection with all the films. I got the still book. And I also got the uh, box set. And then we had another great Lionsgate release. We have Universal Soldier, which I enjoyed this one. Really enjoyed the movie. And then, of course, we got the still book for The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Again, I really enjoyed that film. Very happy to have been able to, to see it and to add that one to the collection. Um, some of the imports that I got, um, I've got the um, Shaolin plot. I got Rock and Roll High School from 101 Films. I got the Untouchables still book um, collect, collection, I guess. It's got a booklet in it, I believe. Um, I got the Green Knight still book from Zavi. And I got the Born Identity um, still book with all the collectibles inside. And then I got the Target exclusive for The Secrets of Dumbledore. And also the Best Buy still book. So happy to have added those to the collection. Um, some other random releases. I got Aliens, Clowns, and Geeks. I got the 4K release for Uncle Sam. Really enjoy looking at that lenticular. The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. I've heard great things about it. I still haven't seen it yet. I got Edge of Sanity. And I also got The Initiation of Sarah. Um, I got the UK release for Demonia. Really enjoyed the box art on this one. It's a slip box. And then I picked up um, Execution in Autumn. Um, this right here is from Eureka. And then I did get some titles from Indicator. Um, some of these were um, from a sale, I believe. I got The Lonely Passion of Judith Hearn. Town on Trial, Take a Girl Like You, Pastor Hall, and then when I ordered those, it was because I had ordered this big old Columbia Noir number five featuring Humphrey Bogart films. I was very happy to add this one to the collection. Great, so, um, great selections of films and just a great set all together. Okay, some of the other titles I got, I did get the Train to Busan 2 movie collection featuring both films. I, I found this one at Walmart. Um, I got Infinite Storm, which I've heard some okay things about. It is based on a true story. I do like having those in the collection. 
I got the Phantasm collection on um, five movie collection with this really nice looking shiny slip from Walmart. Um, I finally got Vampire's Kiss. For whatever reason, this right here was delayed. Um, it took forever to get here. All of a sudden, it showed up along with uh, Monday Morning. I really do like these MBD Rewind collections. I've got them all so far. So happy to have added these two to the collection. Um, I did get the Fantastic Beast three films collection. I'm always a fan of getting the multiple film collections. And so Target had this one. Um, I got Escape the Field. Don't know much about this one, but um, I had to have it because um, I guess from the trailer it looked very interesting. Um, same way with the seller. I, um, I had heard some good things about the seller and the last victim. So happy to add those. Um, I got the Mexican. I did not have this one in the collection. It was just released um, from Paramount. So I picked it up. And then we had some Disney Movie Club exclusives. I got the Rescuers 2 movie collection with this nice looking slip. Um, the original Rescuers is one of my favorite Disney films of all time. Um, the Emperor's New Groove 2 movie collection. And then we got some Mill Creek. Um, we have the um, Martin Short 2 film collection with Cross My Heart and Pure Luck. Um, we have the George Clooney 2 film collection with the American and Leatherheads. We got some nice retro VHS slips for King Ralph. Heart and Souls, which is a really good film. I, I, I always enjoyed this one. If you've never seen this one, definitely check that one out. And then we got a re-release for Assault on Precinct 13. And then for the Nexus Cage uh, month, I did order some back titles that I didn't have in the collection. Um, I got 8mm, Con Air, The Rock, and Honeymoon in Vegas. So I added those. Like I said, I did have those in the collection. You can check out my What I Watched during the month of June video if you'd like to check out what all I watched. I did get some Vinegar Syndrome titles. I got the Miami Miami Connection, which I've heard great things about. I got Cloak and Dagger. And I got Thriller, A Cruel Picture. Okay, I also got a lot of Kino um, Lorber titles during this month. Um, some were new releases, some were... So whenever I order the new releases to get free shipping, I always add on different titles. So I finally got Cool as Ice. I've always wanted to have this one in the collection since I heard that it was released. So I finally got Cool as Ice. I got Last of the Dogmen. Um, the Mysterious Dr. Fu Manchu, The Return of Dr. Fu Manchu um, double feature. I got Killer's Kiss. Out of Sight 4K, The Phantom of the Opera, a different edition of The Phantom of the Opera, UFO, The UFO Incident, Love Slaves of the Amazons, The Horse Soldiers, Times Square, Stunt Rock, Savage Sisters, I got the Western Classics number one, and Film Noir, The Dark Side of Cinema number seven. So this gets me up to date on having all of those in the collection so far. And then um, from Shout Factory and Scream Factory, I did get Panda Go Panda for the G-Kids release, five centimeters per second, only yesterday, the place promised in our early days, children who chase lost voices, and then I got this um, shout select for Herzog, the collection, volume two, which was released as a Shout Select title, but I never did get the first one that they released, so I did get the um, Volume 1, which is a humongous, heavy, hard book, so I added that one to the collection. I didn't see any sense in having Volume 2 if I didn't have Volume 1 in the collection. 
And then we got another Paramount Presents release for the First Wives Club, which I've heard great things about this one. I've just never seen it. And then some other random releases. Um, See For Me. Mothering Sunday. Settlers. I got the A24 set for Souvenir and Souvenir 2, which I'm very happy that I was able to add that one. Um, there was a sale for a little over $50 for um, Gravity Falls, the complete series. I've heard great things about this. I didn't have it in the collection, so I went ahead and bought this one for the $50 range. Um, from 88 Films, I got the Killer Meteors. Zone Troopers, and then I picked up a live, or I ordered a live um, from um, what's it called? Cauldron Films. I got Sator, and I got Liza the Fox Fairy, and I got Hard Rock Nightmare. I got If He Hollers, Let Him Go. And then from MVD, I also got The Fabulous Baker Boys, which is a great film. Very happy to have that one in the collection. I think that's everything that I got during the month. I'm sure there's probably something that is set aside that I'm missing. But anyway, that's quite a bit of titles during the month of June. Um, I'm not sure exactly what July is going to look like. I know we have the Criterion sale starting up, and I've already ordered, I think, five titles so far. But there are other titles that I want. I did have a gift card that I used. I had a $100 gift card, so I used that for the five titles that I picked up. Um, but anyways, be looking forward to some videos for the Criterion sale. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know that you were able to pick up items that you wanted during the month of June and what titles you picked up. Maybe give me some recommendations of titles that you'd like me to see that you would like to see me pick up during the month of July. And um, thank you very much for, for taking the time to watch. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. If you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. All of those links are down below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.